Pakuraban Lucky. Is this the compliment beast? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, so we're going to be going over Pakaraban Lucky today. So, my initial first impressions with Lucky was similar to Prada Black. So, I got this on a tester strip and at work I actually got probably about four people to try different testers that I'd got on this strip from Boots and out of all of them, I think there was Prada Black, there was Packer Rabanne Lucky, um, there was a Tom Ford one, I think it was the Noir Noir, another Tom Ford one which was Velvet Orchid and I think that was it. The main one that come out on top constantly was Packer Rabanne Lucky and yeah, I, I really like it myself. It feels like it's a summer fragrance. Sorry, UK is actually boiling at the minute. No wind, really muggy weather, so I'm a bit sweaty. <laughs> so apologies. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. For me, it's a very summer scent. And I feel with the previous fragrances that have come out for the Pacaraban line that you've got Pacaraban Privé and you've also got the Invictus Aqua. I feel that them two have been merged together and created this little baby. So yeah I think it's a combination of the both um, and well that's just my interpretation of it and I feel it's a, a really good mix of both Invictus Aqua and the sort of bubblegum feel from Privé. Um, as soon as I smelt it, I understood why people liked it. And the first time that I wore it, got a compliment straight away as soon as I got into work. Um, and yeah, constantly getting compliments. So even today, so when I've worn this today at work, give it a little spray before you go to work and the wife's like oh what's that what's that that you're wearing and uh, so yeah I feel it's a, a big compliment getter especially for this summer weather where it's really hot um, in terms of the notes as the previous video I'm not a great person with knowing all the notes at the top of my head so I've got my lovely iPad that's going to give me all of the correct information. So, what is Paco Rabanne saying about Lucky? So, the Lucky bottle. After the gold rush, the platinum experience, with Million Lucky, iconic gold is upgraded by the rarest of metals, which is platinum. Pure, dense and extraordinary. A note to Paco Rabanne, the rebellious metallurgist, who embodied the million fantasy. Um, so, what does it say? An exhilarating rush that grips the senses, biting you with the zesty green plum, captivating you with masculine woodiness, jolting your desires with luscious hazelnut, all at the same time. One inhale and the world is yours for the taking. Long live the lucky ones. So yeah, I must be one of the lucky ones. So yeah, the I definitely recommend this one. Uh, beautiful scent. Compliment getter, definitely, if that's what you're after in terms of when you purchase your fragrances. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't normally buy just for compliments. I only really buy... Um, fragrances that I actually enjoy so I won't buy something that I don't like just for compliments so I need to enjoy it as well um, next review that's coming up will be an Aqua de Palma fragrance so 
look forward to that one hit that like button make sure that you subscribe we've got a few more fragrance reviews coming up and yeah let us know what you think about paca rabanne lucky cheers guys